Hi, this is question 7 from the AQA Core 2 Jan 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to um, try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at the question. OK, why well, don't you manage to have a go? I'm now going to um, go through a hint um, for this question. So um, you're asked to first of all describe a geometrical transformation that maps this graph here y is equal to 4 to the power of x onto the graph of y is equal to 3 times 4 to the power of x. So you first of all need to think about um, my in this in this equation here um, my y coordinate is equal to something and in this equation here my y coordinate is, is equal to 3 times that something. So think about what's going to happen to the y coordinate there and, and what that's going to make the graph look like. Part B says sketch the curve um, with this equation indicating the value of the intercept on the y axis. So think about what the x coordinate is going to be um, when when the when the lines when sorry when the curve is going through the y axis um, and, and what might the general shape to this graph B. Part C, um, this time we've got the curve um, with equation y is equal to 4 to the negative x and that intersects with the curve y is equal to 3 times 4 to the x at this point P. Um, we're asked to use logarithms to find the x coordinate of P and, and give our answers to three simple figures. So, um, what we're looking to do is use simultaneous equations in, su in some ways. If I know that y is equal to 4 to the negative x and it's equal to this here, then this must be equal to this. I can then decide how I'm going to um, use logarithms to um, to end up solving this equation. Okay, um, so if you'd like to have a go at the question now um, and pause the video, Okay, I'm not going to go over the answer to the question. So, um, we, for part A, wanted to describe this geometrical transformation. Um, I ask you to think about this in terms of um, it, it kind of the y coordinates being three times bigger here than they are here, um, and it's actually going to be a stretch of factor three in the y direction the stretch of factor 3 um, and we can say in the y direction or parallel to the y axis ok another way to think about um, this would be well if I rearrange this slightly so I've um, I'm gonna um, divide both sides by three so I've got a third of y is equal to four to the x so to get from this equation to this equation I've had to replace this y with a third of y and um, you, you may have been shown this before that um, it, this is now in the form 1 over k times y and k tells us the stretch the stretch factor so k in this case would be 3 so that, that also tells us it's a stretch of factor 3 in the y direction ok part b ok um, we are stretching the curve um, sketching the curve sorry, with the um, equation of this um, and we're going to indicate the value of the intercept on the y-axis so first of all the general shape of this curve is going to look like this and um, the x-axis um, is going to be um, an asymptote, yeah? so we don't actually cross the x-axis uh, the x-axis is going to be an asymptote um, the reason being is that 
this, the value of this couldn't be negative. Um, there isn't 4 to the power of something um, that's going to make this negative. Okay, so it can't go below the x axis. And also, um, when x is 0, then um, the value of this will be 1. And um, so the value of all of this is going to be 3. So that tells me that it passes through the y axis at a value of 3. Okay, um, and that's enough for us. As long as we've got the shape there and, and, and we've not crossed the x axis and we've marked on that it passes through the y axis at 3, um, that will be enough to get us 2 marks. Okay, part C. Um, <coughs> so what we said is that um, we would use simultaneous equations to solve this. So that means 4 to the negative x is going to be equal to 3 times 4 to the x. OK, so um, we are told to use logarithms. Um, I'm going to log both sides of this. Um, so I'm going to log. It doesn't matter what the base is. Um, we can just write log. Okay, um, and I can separate this logarithm here. Um, so that's going to be and that's going to be log three plus log four x. Four to the power of x, um, and I can. Um, take this power in front of my logarithm, so I'm going to have minus x 4 equal to log 3 plus x log 4 um, and if I take this now to the other side I'm going to have minus 2x log so I've just take I've taken this away from both sides, um, and that's going to be equal to log three. Um, I can now divide both sides by um, negative two log four, and that's going to tell me that x is equal to log three over negative two log four, and if I put that into my calculator um, that's going to tell me that to three significant figures x is going to be equal to minus 0 0.396 and there you go ok um, if I just tidy this up a little bit and there you go. Um, remember you can check your answer because I could check that 4 to the negative power of this um, is the same as 3 times 4 to the power of this. Yeah, So I can check that out and, and see whether that um, that's actually true. Um, and we only wanted the x coordinate. If we wanted the y coordinate as well I could substitute this into here and, and find what the y coordinate is as well. Okay, um, thanks very much for joining me um, and I would look forward to seeing you again soon.